Hello everyone, as you can see here, this is the Tracer DT240. This is the liquid cooling for the CPU. So I'm going to show you how to install it. Let's open it up first. As you can see, this is the ins installation cut with all the illustration in here. And also it shows you what is included, what is not. And also it does explain clearly how you need to set up for MD flat from installation and the intel okay so let's start okay. so if you open the box you can see a couple of things first this is called radiator and So this is the radiator and that is the actual block with the copper shield as you can see okay and we're going to check what else is in there and these are the two fan goes in there and all the small bits and pieces include the thermal paste in there so we're going to show you how to install it so now we're going to show you uh, step by step okay uh, this is the actual um, copper shield which on goes top of the uh, processor and these are two fans we're going to fit it here so first is first first we're going to set up the fan okay there are a lot of tools accessories whatever you need you can take it from here i'm going to pull out all of them okay so now there might be a question as you can see the both side looks same exactly same now the question is where the fan would go okay it goes in here because you can see the screws it goes in here because you can see the same screws same screw hole now the question is where it should be okay can you see this two tube the fan needs to be in this side because if you put it in the other side instead of it's helping out it's going to make it worse okay now same question for this system fan okay both side look like same but what is going to be seen if you are really the beginner can you see the wire mesh this one is going to go like that so downside so put it like that one and the same one here exactly like that now we're going to put the screws which is already supplied with that now there are a lot of screws which one you need to choose? I'm going to show you in a second. Can you see those long black one? Those are the one. Go here. I think screwdriver will be better for this. Okay, that's fine. Do the same thing with me. Oh. Fan is already settled down as you can see. Okay. Now, let's talk about the motherboard because there are many types of motherboard the the major one is the socket i mean um intel and amd now they supplied both of them for intel and amd today i'm going to install in m4 so i'm going to show you how the m4 uh, looks like uh, the socket and how you're going to make it ready because sometimes they supply this is the one when it comes with that let me show you this is very simple to open up you don't need to be confused as you can see this is coming out this is the actual bracket okay so if this one is here then you need to understand it is for intel but i'm not going to use it if you just slide out and adjust it then you can change it so i'm going to use it for intel okay which one goes right here push all the way as you can see now so MD 
M4 socket also needs this too to set it up it goes like that can you see exactly like that and then you're gonna tight it like that One second. let me double check yeah it's gonna be exactly like that let's check now it yeah, looks like it. no looks like very flimsy but that's the right position how you know let me show you can you see that that is the actual part what we are doing right now because this one goes from underneath what we already did and these two these two goes on the top okay so now i'm going to show you how to do that and this is the one m4 socket so let's start okay I'm making this video just for the video purpose so I'm not going to make it the final installation but I'm going to show you where is the confusion is okay all right so can you see the from the liquid cooling the fan one goes to the chachi's fan which is that one so don't be confused right here it doesn't go to the CPU fan anyway fine and then this one which is very important to know this one goes to the CPU fan because if you don't put it on the CPU fan what's going to be happen the system will be confused he will recognize there is no fan so because of there is no fan the system would not load properly even if you put it in the CPU fan still you must need to configure it out get to the BIOS and change the fan speed, fan speed low and then it should be fixed you need to customize it so now I'm going to show you how to install this um, actual block in here. Okay. So first you need two things. This is actual thermal paste which on supplied with this cooling unit. Put it in the middle and that would be more than enough. And don't forget to peel this off. and i don't prefer to put any fingerprint on it so it goes like that can you see how i'm closing don't put it too much leave it a little bit open because we don't know the actual length goes like that close this one little bit as well Okay, so we close it a little bit. Now, the actual unit goes that way. This is the actual way. Can you see? And also that's the one. All right, so it's seated properly. Now, tighten it. Keep your balance when you tight in both sides. Okay. It seems quite firm. All right. Plastic and peel this off and this one as I told you goes to the CPU fan which is in right here three connectors but there are four don't be confused just leave it like that all right so that's how you set up your Tracer DT240 liquid cooling it's super simple choose according to your motherboard socket if that is from md 
M4 socket then choose that one if no there is another one also available which is comes already inside the packaging so thank you so much for watching guys i hope i'll see you in the next video bye for now